Hello everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and um, today I want to go over this clip. I believe it's going to go viral. Um, Jalen Hurts at practice, you know, it is a ball security drill where it's though the players will fall forward on their shoulder and they went pretty light on him. So is Jalen Hurts' shoulder still hurt? Let's get into this clip and let me know what you think. All right here we go. Jalen Hurts take a football, pretty much jogging, take a couple hits, couple hits. Instead of falling on his shoulder, he falls on his back. Um, let me say this. I don't think his shoulder is as hurt as people think. I think it's about 90, 95 percent. But for the quote unquote smart people out there. For a healing shoulder, even 90 to 95%, why would he decide to fall on it? Whereas though each game, Giants and on, would be the biggest game of his career. Why would he risk hurting his shoulder or going into a game like that sore? Of course, he's not going to fall on his shoulder. I've seen a couple pass drills. He looked really good. Um... I've seen some reporters, beat writers, and stuff like that making a big deal out of this. Won't be surprised if questions come to Jalen Hurts about this, which will be utterly ridiculous in my opinion. In my opinion, like, come on, I, I got to play this again. They're going to make a big deal out of this clip. A lot of people are. Even though I think it's like smoking mirrors or smoking screens, whatever you call it, they playing it safe. Nick Sirianni and these dudes been playing it safe for the past couple weeks. I think he could have played against the Saints. They played this safe. I think they could have opened up the playbook against the Giants the second time we played them. But no, play it safe because it's the playoffs. Why would I risk my guy getting hurt in practice? That makes the most sense to me. Um... Like I said, I believe this clip is going to go viral. A lot of people are going to talk about it, going to make a big deal out of it. Instead of falling on the healing shoulder, he decides to fall on his back on the mat. Is he really hurt? Is he really healed? I don't That That's going to be the topic of the Eagles is that 15 second clip or 10 or less, whatever it is. That's going to be the topic. And I just wanted to touch on it. Get my opinion because I'm probably going to come out with a video later that has nothing to do with this. But I, I see it's picking up traction after traction after traction. I believe he's good. I believe he's good. And I think the Eagles are playing it smart. Don't let the kid fall on the shoulder. Don't let it go from 95 to 80. Bad enough, he got to go against a Giants team. Whereas though it's going to be three plus hundred pound men falling on him, hitting him, probably even targeting him. So don't make it worse at practice. Don't show him up at practice. But, hey, man, what do you think? How do you feel about this clip? Um, are people looking, in it, looking into it too much, saying that he's hurt, or are you taking the approach like me? Look, don't overthink this clip. Yes, notably, he did not fall on his shoulder, and that's obvious as well. But this is Al Kabir, the analyst. Ghost.